This is a tutorial on how to set up your email inside your Google Gmail. In this case, I have set up several email addresses uh, inside the GoDaddy email control panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up these email addresses inside the Gmail account for this person. So what I've done is I went ahead and set this up, up and I waited for it to propagate and then I hit launch and opened it up in a new window. Once I've opened it up, I'm going to go ahead and go to Tools and Email Info Center. And it's going to open up in a new window and it's going to give me some special settings that I'm going to need when I set it up inside Gmail. And there we go. These are our settings that we're going to need. We'll also need the username for the person, which is their email, and the password that you use to set their site up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and log into the Gmail account. On the right hand side, I'm going to go to the little gear and I'm going to choose settings. Next, I'm going to go to accounts and import. And then I'm going to go ahead and check mail from other accounts using POP. First, you're going to go ahead and type in the email address. Now you're going to type in your username, which is going to be the full email, if it's GoDaddy email. It may be something else if you're using a different uh, email, but in this case, anytime you're setting up an email through GoDaddy, it's going to be the full username. Your password. Here's where the other page is going to come into handy. So we're going to go back to our workspace, and we are going to highlight the POP server. Copy it, come back here and paste it in there. Make sure there's no extra spaces. Port 110, we always want to start with 110. We are not going to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server. I purposely set these uh, email boxes up with very small amount of space. They only have 10 megabytes, it's real small. So if their inbox gets filled up in here, because messages aren't actually pulled out of here and into Gmail, then what's going to happen is you're going to get fill up all that space and it's going to reject uh, any new emails and we don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we leave, uh, we keep all of the new emails in the account. We do not check this box. We're going to go ahead and label incoming messages from the new email so we know that we can tell where they're from and we're going to choose add account. Next, it's going to go ahead and ask if you want to send mail at as Andy at selfforfree.com. We're going to say yes. We add the name in here. It's already in here. So if you have anything else you want to change, you can change it. Uncheck treat as an alias. We do not want to do that. Choose next step. We're going to go ahead and send through Gmail. That's easier to set up and it's going to work better for you. Next step, send verification. Now what you want to do is since you're already logged into here, you want to go ahead and come in here and refresh your inbox. There's your email. You're going to go ahead and grab your code and paste it in here and click verify. And that's all there is to it. Now there's a couple of other settings that you can set up in here. You can make your default email be Andy, your, your main email, andy at selfforfree.com. So we're going to go ahead and choose make default. What that means is that your default email that when you choose to compose a new email, it's always going to start by choosing andy at selfforfree.com in this case. When you reply to an email, it's always going to reply from andy at selfforfree. This is handy if you're switching email addresses to something else and you've used your other email for a long time. But having an email on Gmail or Yahoo when you're in a business is unprofessional and not nearly as professional as using your own email on your own domain. Plus, by using your own domain name, you are promoting your business and your website every time and you're getting it so that people are hearing your name, Andy at selfforfree.com. The more they hear it, the more they remember it. If this isn't the setting that you want to do, you can always change reply from the same address the message was sent to. And that way, if somebody sent you an email to your Gmail address and you hit reply, it's going to reply from your Gmail address. If somebody sends you an email to your selfforfree.com, for instance, or whatever domain yours is, then it's going to go ahead and reply from that domain. 
In this case, we want to go ahead and set this up to always reply from the default email address. Now, once you're done and you've added all, you've added everything, all the settings in here, you're going to go ahead and go back to the general tab. And just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. Always good to do that. It's going to automatically bring you back into the inbox. And we're going to go ahead and delete this since we don't need it. And you're good to go. Now if you hit compose, you're going to notice up here there is a new bar. And you can choose from the drop down if you want to send from your Gmail address or your new account. But by default, it's always going to send from your main account. And that's how you set up your email address inside your Gmail account.